The idea of our higher self can be a deep part of our existence. If you are here, it's a clear sign from your higher self that there is something you need to know. Keep watching. It might seem unusual, even hard to believe in something we haven't directly experienced. But let's explore this a bit more. What if your higher self communicates with you through subtle signals? Think about the possibilities in exploring this concept. Imagine your higher self as a presence almost within arm's reach, but often unnoticed as we navigate life's complexities. It patiently waits for our recognition while our innermost desires silently guide us to revelations beyond our physical senses. Consider the interconnectedness of physical, spiritual and emotional dimensions defining our human experience. These three dimensions are linked, influencing each other in both open and subtle ways. Ignoring this unity is a choice, but it shapes our reality. So, what does our higher self want from us? It seems to yearn for our awareness of the world around us. It seeks to awaken our consciousness to the energies in our environment. Without this connection, how can we discern what's beneficial or harmful to our inner energy? Today, we gather on this spiritual journey to explore the mysteries of our higher self. Together, let's unravel the enigmatic signals your higher self uses to capture your attention. Starting with the first sign, vivid dreams. These are not just nightly wanderings of the mind, they're a deep channel of communication from a higher dimension. When your higher self wants to transmit a message or a gentle warning, it does so through your dreams. Think of dreams as a bridge between your earthly self and your higher self. In this connection, you may encounter events transcending past, present, and even future boundaries. These dreams are a clear indicator that your higher self is striving to connect with you. For example, dreams reflecting current life events serve as a direct message from your soul, urging you to nurture your passions and move forward. Now, the second sign, mirroring. Have you ever spoken to someone and found your words and actions in sync with theirs? It's like sharing the same opinion. This mirroring, the essence of higher self-communication, might be a subtle but profound sign. If you repeatedly experience this phenomenon, your higher self may be trying to transmit messages. To fully embrace and interpret these messages, create moments of stillness. In these quiet moments, you deepen the connection with your soul allowing its wisdom to guide your spiritual journey. Finally, the third sign resides within all of us. Intuition. Your intuition is a beacon of truth and guidance, a precious compass for life's journey. One remarkable quality is its ability to provide warnings before events unfold. Trusting your intuition and paying attention to its subtle cues can lead to a deeper understanding of your higher self's communication. Embrace these signs and moments of connection with your higher self. They can bring clarity and guidance to your spiritual journey. Let's consider a regular situation. Picture yourself on a busy morning heading to work, waiting for the subway. You face two choices, your usual route and a shorter but less familiar alternative. There's a moment of hesitation as you weigh the options. Suddenly, a subtle feeling and intuition kick in. Something inside you suggests that the less familiar route is the wise choice. You decide to trust this feeling and take the unconventional route. As you approach the office, you hear about an unexpected incident on your usual route, a traffic accident causing significant delays. Your intuition guiding you along the different route, not only avoided setbacks, but also made your working day smooth and efficient. This is a simple example of how intuition can guide us in making decisions for our well-being. It acts like a beacon of inner wisdom, leading us in the right direction to reach our goals and avoid unnecessary obstacles. Our intuition serves as a messenger, 
predicting potential events or situations to come. It provides guidance in resolving conflicts or dealing with past issues. Even if the outcome may not seem successful, following our intuition offers valuable insights and opportunities for growth. So, in our journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening, one wise choice is to listen to our intuition. It's a trusted companion, guiding us along a path of greater understanding and fulfilment. Now, let's explore the fourth sign, the sudden appearance of people in our lives. It might seem disconcerting initially, but it holds deep spiritual significance. It's like the universe orchestrates the arrival of these people just when we need assistance or guidance. These individuals are not chance encounters. They are sent to us with a specific purpose in mind. Their presence is woven into the web of synchronistic events unfolding around our lives. Instead of avoiding or running away, consider the beauty of this cosmic design. Moving on to the fifth sign, the realm of thoughts. Our thoughts are not random reflections, but a channel through which our higher self communicates with us. The thoughts passing through our minds shape how we perceive and respond to the world. It's our higher self gently nudging us to think positively, encouraging us to recognise the importance of connections in our lives. Our thoughts are influenced by inner emotions and spiritual beliefs, creating a deep interplay of energies. Essentially, our thoughts are a means of communication between our conscious mind and our higher self, connected to our spiritual essence. To strengthen this connection, Practices like meditation, self-knowledge and mindfulness allow us to access the inner wisdom guiding our path on the spiritual journey. Our thoughts play a big role in exploring our life purpose. They let us look back on our lives, actions and experiences. This self-analysis helps us understand our deepest values, beliefs and desires, all crucial aspects of our higher self. Sometimes, our thoughts turn into intuitions and insights that can't be explained just by logic. These intuitions might be messages from our higher self, guiding us toward decisions and actions that align with our true purpose and path. By observing and understanding our thoughts deeply, we can access a quiet inner space where our higher self resides. Creative and inspiring thoughts come from a deep place within us. Following these inspirations might be a way of honouring our higher self and contributing to our spiritual growth. When we listen carefully to our thoughts, we can tell the difference between those that arise from the egoic mind, like worries and doubts, and those from our higher self, like intuitions and unconditional love. Now let's explore the next sign, the separation from certain individuals in our lives. As we grow and discover more about ourselves, we may notice that some people, once a part of our lives, seem to be holding us back. This happens because, over time, our higher self evolves. As we commit to becoming a better version of ourselves, we attract more positive relationships, and this can lead to a gradual distancing from certain people. It's essential to keep an open mind and trust in the guidance of your higher self leading you toward greater fulfilment. Moving on to the seventh sign, the intensity of our emotions. If you often find yourself immersed in strong emotions, it might be a sign that your higher self is trying to communicate with you. Connecting with your higher self can evoke a spectrum of emotions, both positive and challenging. Recognising these emotions as valuable indicators of your inner transformation strengthens the connection between your higher self and your emotional world. Finally, finding solace in your personal space is the last sign. Have you noticed a growing desire to spend more time alone, organising your thoughts and emotions? It may feel like you're moving away from certain social interactions and activities you once enjoyed. This can be a sign that your higher self is guiding you to seek personal space for reflection and inner growth. However, this desire to be alone might not be unusual. It could be a gentle request from our higher self. 
our higher self, in its effort to connect with us, might be subtly asking for more solitude. During this time, you may find yourself less engaged with the outside world and more focused on your inner thoughts. Even though isolation may sometimes feel strange, it provides a unique chance to rediscover the spiritual aspects of our existence. The more we embrace this solitude, the faster our connection with our higher self will become apparent. Now let's talk about the eighth sign, the regular practice of meditation. Have you felt a growing inclination to meditate, to set aside time for silent introspection? Meditation acts as a bridge between the physical and spiritual, allowing us to momentarily disconnect from the material world and concentrate on our spiritual self. If you're feeling drawn to meditation, your higher self might be trying to communicate with you. I've experienced this inclination to meditate myself, feeling the need to dedicate more time to this practice. It's challenging to explain with words alone, but it's something that comes from within, urging me to take more time for self-reflection. Meditation also helps eliminate unnecessary baggage and relationships that no longer serve our spiritual growth. It opens a gateway to higher realms, offering solace from depression, anxiety and stress. By connecting with these higher dimensions, you can gain valuable insights and enhance your ability to handle life's challenges. The final sign, but no less important, is an incredible sense of inspiration and enthusiasm about our lives. Have you noticed significant changes happening in your life lately? These transformative changes are a direct result of your connection with your higher self. As this connection deepens, you become more creative, focused on your goals, and committed to self-improvement. This intensified connection promotes an open mind and the courage to face challenges head-on. Eventually, you may find yourself venturing into new horizons, whether it's starting a business, building a house, forming new relationships, or embracing bold risks. The awakening of your higher self has the potential to trigger a profound transformation in your life, enabling you to explore unknown territories and experience the world with renewed vigour and purpose. These are just a few signs that may represent the call of our higher self. Reflect on these signs and how they can influence your connection with your higher self. Practice more moments of reflection and introspection, as these moments are unique and special, strengthening your connection with your higher self. I hope this content helps you on your journey. Thank you for joining me. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and share this video with others. Don't forget to leave a comment below, sharing your thoughts and experiences. Thank you again for watching, take care, and see you soon.